Hey everybody, today we're going to get peak performance out of our 802.11n router. Let's say you're hauling down the 2.4 gigahertz highway in your top of the line 802.11n sports car. You're jamming along at speeds of 125 megabits per second with your favorite tune playing on the radio. Then you come across this guy. He has a souped up 802.11g muscle car that's hogging the road. Now he's fast, but he just can't go as fast as your 802.11n sports car. So you're forced down to his 25 megabits per second. Now you guys are both going along, and then you come across this guy. He's in his slow 802.11b economy car. This guy is running with his warning lights on, he's so slow. Both your 802.11n sports car and the 802.11g muscle car are forced to stay behind this guy and go a pitly 4 megabits per second. This isn't going to do. You want to get back up to speed and stay there. So what do you do? You lock down your router to 802.11n only mode. So why do we have to slow down for the 802.11g muscle car and the 802.11b economy car? Well that's because of compatibility mode. That's your router looking for 802.11g devices or 802.11b devices. And so what happens is the speed dips down and then it goes back up to 802.11n speed. Um, so what we want to do is we want to lock it down to 802.11n. Um, what that's good for is let's say you have like the boxy uh, media player you're going to stream a movie wirelessly to it and you want the best speed possible so you don't get any hiccups at all. Now keep in mind this is only good if you have all 802.11n devices. So what you're going to have is one of these high speed 802.11n routers and then all of your other devices on the network are going to be 802.11n. If you have any G networks or G devices, you have to leave it on compatibility mode. Otherwise, the only thing that you're doing is you're seeing like your neighbor's G devices, maybe he has a G network, and you're dipping down for speed when you don't have to. Now it's really simple to put it into lockdown mode, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. Start by logging into your router. Now click the Setup tab at the top, then the Wireless Settings button to the left. You'll need to scroll down to the bottom of the page and select Manual Wireless Settings. Then near the top you'll see 802.11 mode. Click the drop down menu and select 802.11n only. Now under Channel Width select the drop down box and choose 40 MHz. Now just go up and save your settings. Well, there you have it. As you can see, it's really easy to lock down your 802.11n router so that you get peak performance at all time. So that's going to do it for this week. I'm Mike, and thanks for watching.